Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Dometic 310 part-timer RV toilet here on our 2016 Keystone Hideout travel trailer. So as far as installation difficulty goes, this is a very simple swap. You're really just pulling off two nuts, putting, pulling off your toilet, putting your new one on, and replacing the nuts on there. The only thing you could run into an issue on is just if your supply line for your water isn't long enough or maybe it's a hard plastic pipe and you can't really get it on and you have to go and get yourself a hose to run from the supply line up to your toilet which if that is the case you can easily get from your local hardware store just make sure that you pick up one that says it's for a sink because RV manufacturers don't actually use the toilet size fittings they use the sink size fittings so when you're trying to determine the correct toilet for your camper there's a few things that you're going to want to look at the first one being the rough end, which is going to be our space from our wall to the center of our flange. And to do that, we're going to take our tape measure and typically right around the center where you see the flange bolts, which right under our lever right here is typically the center. So you can push that back and we can see that we're hitting right around 12 inches from our flange bolt to the wall. So we know that we have plenty of clearance to easily handle any toilet. Another thing is going to be just the height. There's your standard height or your low profile. Your low profile is going to come a little bit lower. The one that we have right here already is our standard height. That's going to be more close to what you'd see in your house. Um, gives you more of a homey feel instead of feeling like you're sitting on something too low in your camper. And then also is also just going to be the color of the toilet itself. This one's an off-white or tan. Um, our neighbor today wants to switch up to a white toilet just so that it gives it better aesthetics inside of his camper. So when removing your original toilet and replacing it with a new one, you might need a couple of tools. We have a channel lock and then just an adjustable wrench, just so uh, we can take off any of our nuts or pull off of our water hose here. So in the back, which is kind of hard to see, our hose for our supply line is just screwed on. This kind of fitting is pretty easy to just get off by hand. Uh, I do have a bowl here just to kind of catch the water because this, while this was cleaned out for the winter, it does still have a little bit of water in the line, so we don't want to have a mess. All right, now with that removed, I'll go ahead and I'm going to pop off our caps that are over our flange bolt so that we can get to our nuts and then pull those off all right one off now we can do the other side now with both of our flange nuts off we can go ahead and lift up our toilet you want to be careful keep this level if there is any water in it it's not going to go sliding out if you keep it level that way you don't have a mess all over your camper floor but we can go ahead and throw this away so now's a good time with our toilet off, go ahead and kind of clean up your flange. Make sure it's nice and neat. Check it for any cracks. You don't want to start tightening down your toilet with onto your flange bolts and then have your cracked up flange actually end up cracking more and then the toilet just not being able to properly tighten down. Because then you're not going to get a good seal with the gasket on the toilet to the flange and then you'll start smelling your sewer coming up into your camper. So we'll go ahead, we'll slide in our new flange bolts. And then we're gonna grab our toilet and we'll set it down. Sliding down onto your flange bolts is a little bit of a task. Just gotta kinda play around so you get it on. Looks like we did right there. And then your flange bolt's gonna come with two washers and then two flange nuts. And we're gonna put those on right now. Just hand tight and then we can tighten them down with our wrench after. One thing I like to do just to make it a little bit easier as I'm tightening down these bolts is actually sit on the toilet itself just to have a little bit of weight pressing against our gasket because that gasket's foam, it's gonna try and push back up. So this kind of helps give you a little bit more space on the bolts to push them down. And as you're tightening these, especially once we start using the wrench, you only wanna make it to where you're not wobbling. If you go any more than that, you're gonna end up breaking the flange or your bolt or your nut and then you're gonna have to start all over again and replacing the flange is a bit of a hassle all right now that i got this tightened down 
We don't really have any play in our toilet. The only play you're really seeing is in the seat itself. We can go ahead and we can get our caps and put those on. These caps are just going to press on, straight on. If for some reason you ended up having to replace the flange bolts and you had longer ones, you could just cut them down a bit, make these caps fit completely flush. From there, we can go ahead and we can hook up our water. Luckily for us today, our water line is right by our toilet, so we don't really have to fight it and we don't have to go and get another hose to try and match this up. So I'll just put that on nice and tight. One good twist with our channel locks. I want to be careful, I don't want to chew up the plastic on this. But we also want to make sure we don't have any leaks coming out once we actually add some water in here. Up top here, you're gonna see these two plastic bolts. They, on the bottom, they have a little wing nut. If you ever need to readjust your seat or tighten it, or for people who have a broken seat, you can easily take these screws right out, replace the seat, tighten them back down, and then we just put these little covers right in. And these just pop onto place to conceal those screws and give you a nice factory look there. Now with our city water hooked up, we can go ahead and test out our toilet. As you can see with how the water outlets are, it's gonna give you a swirl effect to kind of also clean your bowl and make sure everything's flushing down correctly. So the other thing to really talk about with this toilet is just how on the right side, we have our foot pedal for operating our toilet. As you press down, the toilet's gonna open up, drain all out, and then also spray in more water. And then also with this toilet, it's real nice. It has a slow close lid, so you don't have to worry about your kids or anyone else slamming your toilet seat shut every single time and then worrying about it breaking. Well guys, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Dometic 310 part-timer RV toilet here on our 2016 Keystone Hideout Travel Trailer. My name's Kevin, thanks for watching.